Hello and welcome back to my channel and welcome to this week's Freeze Friday. So, and stay tuned to the end of this video because I will be announcing the winners to my 1,000 subby um, challenge. So, I had, there was going to be one winner and I was giving bonus entries to um, my friends who participated in the off the board or the 1000 subby bonus challenge in the Mercy Tierra 27 day Facebook group. So uh, that was going to get, so if there was a comment and a layout, that was going to be two entries, uh, which, which I did, but then I picked the main winner and then I decided that I did want to actually do a small prize only for those of you who played along in the Mercy Care 27 day group, either in the off the board bonus challenge or the 1000 subby, which included the off the board and or a 30 days of sketches sketch. So I went in there and I chose a winner from the group only to get the June sampler. And I will come back to that at the end of the video. But before that, let's see what this week's Freeze Friday has for us. So after all of the off the board fun that we had in July, I had a little bit of an off the board hangover as I told my lovely friend Crystal. And therefore I did not get um, a sketch Sunday, a 30 days of sketches revisited video up. She's not a slacker. She got one up. Um, so I'm sure you saw it, but you know what, just in case you didn't see it, I'm going to link it down below because it's an awesome layout. I challenged her with uh, a sketch and she got that layout done, the video done and the video posted all within, I don't know, maybe just over an hour. She, I swear, I swear, my friend. So I'm going to link that video down below if by any chance you missed it. I'm sure you didn't, but it'll be linked there if you did. Then, so the, oh, I have one layout to share with you this week. And that is for this series I do with my lovely friend Karina on Mondays, which is the Secret Not Secret Kid Club Scrapbooking with a Twist. The twist being... Um, a challenge that Christina issues to us every week. There is always a sketch. Every month we do choose one of the Thursday night sketches from the public uh, page and that's what we did this week. So this was the sketch and this was my fun layout using my new Secret Not Secret Kit Club kit with some fun, fun exclusives and a little bit of my new How to Kill a Kit with Style which is based on uh, a mini kit that I got from the Secret Not Secret Kit Club. Um, of course, I shared all of that. There was still a lot of activity on my channel last weekend because I did the, the monthly wrap up. Uh, I shared my How to Kill a Kit with Style. I shared my new scrapbooking with a twist and general scrapbooking um, kit for the month. So there was still a lot going on and I will uh, post the links down to those below as well as of course this video that went up on Monday. Now in that we were talking about and I was talking about um, really having to maybe add or get some cut files going. I've got to get over that intimidation of cut files. Talking with Christy, talking with Christina and my lovely friend Colleen uh, who wants to get to using some cut files, her cut files as well. So what I did, um, and hopefully if I do this right, um, there will be a layout on my channel on Sunday and on Monday that will have some cut files. Uh, in the, well, Monday has got to have a cut file because that is part of Christina's challenge to us. So there's got to be one. So I went in a few kits and I got um, some cut files out. Now this one here which I just just love because just one more chapter um, the J is here and that can be used in so so many different ways. I might use it in my everyday memory keeping. I might use it in my TN because I'm going to talk to you about that. I'm going to start a new series in 
September or actually hopefully maybe a little bit in August on Saturdays where I will come to you a couple of times a month at least once with what was my TN Tuesdays you know that lovely large project that I had started my story the first 60 years where I had four or five different um, TN so one Saturday I will do that and then uh, I will also on another Saturday so at least once each a month I will do some everyday memory recording, sort of like my version, I guess, of Project Life that I will share with you. Um, so that will be on Saturday. So what, just one more chapter could go with any of that. It could be a lot more literal about me recording books. So I thought that one would be fun. It's words, not too intimidating. I can get that one used up. Um, this lovely, <laughs> this lovely tea mug or tea, and it's got a fun little heart in here. And, you know, as part of my How to Kill a Kit, I had a, a couple of fun um, little cut files from Christy, so that would go with it. Again, this one is not too intimidating. I could even maybe stitch. I could stitch this and use this as a template. Oh, that could be fun. Then these lovely, and this is black, and I love this, and I know exactly what layout I want to use this on. So this should be a fun and fairly easy one to use. And Christina gave us some ideas. Uh, she actually has a video on her channel using this. And in the Creative Cuts Club, she gave us a few more ideas as well. So I've got that that I took out. Then another couple that aren't too intimidating, a lovely, nice and easy one to use, just a film strip, a camera. So those aren't I should be able to get those used fairly easily. I am working with arrows this month, so I got this lovely cut file that I could do something gorgeous with. And then I did take two big ones out to see what I can do with those. Let me just turn this over so you can maybe see. Oh, and there's a little tiny heart here that came where there we go so this lovely one which is just a bunch of open hearts which could be fun I could either stitch or maybe do a little bit of watercolor or we'll see if I get um, creative maybe even do a shaker pocket but this one I hope should be fairly easy. so I went in and in all honesty I used some fairly fairly easy ones and then this gorgeous cut file as well which has got flowers this lovely big flower here uh, in the middle. So we'll see what I can do with that. I have an idea for this one as well. So those are some those those are some cut files that I'm going to challenge myself because I have a lot a lot of cut files in my stash. I do not have an electronic cutter. I am not going to get one, but I am a member of the Creative Cuts Club, and there are some awesome awesome. Uh, cut files every single month and Christina will likely in the next couple of kits maybe be sending me smaller ones so that I can get used to them a little bit more and then the other thing that I did um, is the May Creative Cuts um, Club kit is specifically Home Sweet Home and look if that's not enough there's even uh a piece of 12 by 12 from the Pink Fresh Let's Stay Home, that gorgeous heart paper. You know, I shared that whole kit with you yesterday. And this is all about staying home. It's got little houses, um, wood veneer ones, some larger cut files, small cut files. So I'm going to add this right into that kit um, that collection that I shared with you yesterday, I'm putting this kit right in there. And then from an older kit from last year, um, isn't that gorgeous? I admit one, I have some cut files that are perfect to be added to the Let's Stay Home collection. So I dug those out. We have here, let's see, game. So this is like game so game day or game night which is perfect to add to that collection and then all sorts of fun little things it's just a little circle a director's chair popcorn 
I guess these are meant to be, maybe are these meant to be 3D glasses? Probably. Um, camera, like a movie projector or camera, the popcorn. Fun little circle, movie. And then there are some other ones in here. Um, the director's call thingy. The, you know, the, the, the board, what do, what do they call that? You know, it goes click, you know. So there we go. Another, a fun cup with two little stars. So another perfect, so these are all, I think that's it now. These are all perfect to add to the Let's Stay Home collection. So there's lots of fun cut files to use that in. So I am going to have fun. Let me just see here. And then to go with my arrows, uh, I treated myself to a printable from Nicole Jones 911. These are all arrows. I don't use printables enough. I have tons and tons of printables, the majority, well, I would say all of them uh, free. Uh, Nicole Jones 911 even gave some free ones in uh, a, a couple of her classes, uh, which I need to catch up on. And that is going to be another series on my channel. I'm not too sure what day of the week it will be starting in September. Hopefully a couple of these I will get up in August, but definitely starting in September, which is going to be inspired by online scrapbooking classes because I have taken pretty much everything Chamel has ever given. I've taken all of the Scrapathon classes from Nicole Jones 911 and a couple of other of her classes. Um, of course, the only class I have ever completed was Sarah Scrapp's first class, Simple Elegance, which I'm going to come back and show you uh, that when I do my Portugal album share. But then I took um, her other two classes and I have not completed those. So I need to use those classes. I've bought them. I've not used them. I'm not allowed to buy. That's it. No more buying classes. Got to use them. So another series on my channel is going to be inspired by... Um, and the first few installments of Inspired By are going to be inspired by online scrapbooking classes. And then that might morph into something else as the series goes on. So I am going to have, um, starting in September, um, Four, at least four series on my channel. Scrapbooking with a Twist on Mondays, which is going to be using my Secret Not Secret kits um, with challenges from Christina for Karina and I. Uh, the SCT Sampler series is going to continue on Tuesdays. On Saturdays, we're going to have sort of the Remember This, where I'm going to have my my story, the first 60 years, the TNs. So I'm bringing that back. I know so many of you have asked for me to bring that series back. So, and I want to get it done for myself as well as some PL and then inspired by um, online scrapbooking classes. And there's a bunch of collabs coming up as well. So the fall is going to be fun. So I printed out these fun arrows, which I'm going to add to my How to Kill a Kit with Style. And I might be able to use some of them as well with my Secret Not Secret Kit Club kit and then I also bought some fun tabs. I don't have a tab punch. I need a tab punch. I really wish I had a tab punch because I love tabs. So I bought myself some of those printables and e each of these I bought in a few in a few colors. Um, I think I bought at least three of these and about four um, of these. So there you go. So that is me for this week's Freeze Friday. Now let's get to our winners. Hang on. Let me put this under here. There we go. So let me see. So the YouTube and Mercy Tiara, the whole uh, group, there was 103 comments on my video and there were... 40 uh, within the two albums of the Off the Board and the Thousand Subbies. There were 40 entries. And the winner of 
the sequins, that prize, the sequins, the stone drops, the May sampler kit, this lovely Vicky Booten 6x8 paper pad, and the creme de la creme, a class by my lovely, lovely friend Sarah, is Jenny Pulsifer. I hope I'm saying that correctly. Jenny Pulsifer, P-U-L-S-I-F-E-R. So Jenny, if you are watching this, you can either um, leave me a comment here on this video or you can uh, private message me, but I will wait for one week. You have one week to let me know um, and give me your address. So if you, mess if, you, if you leave me a comment here, then we'll organize. You can message me your address or you can go straight over to Facebook and message me. Um, your address so I can get that out to you next Friday. I'm sorry. There we go There's always somebody having to do something or other outside and making noise, but we're almost done if Jenny if I don't hear from you by next Friday by the time I do my freeze Friday next Friday I will pick uh, another winner so one full week to get to me and then from just the entries over on the Mercy Cara 27 day Facebook group I have the June, uh, I'm giving the June sample kit, and this is my kit. This one is not um, a sponsor kit because if you recall, I had sort of left my subscription lapse and they PayPal'd me, and they did get me the June and July, but I went straight to using the July kit. Oh, I'm so sorry about that noise. Uh, so I figured I would take the June kit and I would use that as the Mercy Chiara, Prize, and that is Cindy Fick. Oh my goodness me, thank goodness. So, Cindy, uh, you can again, you can do the same thing. You can either leave a comment to this video, but I will also go post it over in the Mercy Tierra group uh, so you can get me your address for this and I will get those things out. So once again, Jenny Pulsifer, that, the, the, the prize, the original prize that was scheduled to go with my 1,000 subbies, and then the last minute little addition that I decided this morning goes to Cindy Fit. And I will see you again here on my Freeze Friday next week. Um, pop on over and see uh, what Christy got up to. And Christy's got a fun new series today. I don't know whether her Freeze Friday is up yet, but she has a fun, fun uh, sort of lunch date with Christy, a fun new series. And the first two episodes are up on her channel today. And it's really, really fun. So at least go on over and see that. And her Freeze Friday might be up by this time. I'm going to go have a look right now myself. Uh, Kathy will have one up either today or over the weekend. And you never know, Kristen might be able to get one up. She's been able to do a little bit of scrapbooking um, this week and have got a few videos up. So there you go. Once again, one week uh, to let me know. And if not, next Freeze Friday, I will choose another winner. Thank you for being here, and I will see you all again soon. Bye.